this video we're going to take a look at J2Store and do a collab. We're all going to join in and check it out and share our experiences with it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning into this Watch Me Work live stream today. I think this might be number 11 or 12. And as I said, we're going to be checking out J2Store. So let's head on over to the uh, site here. I'm going to get a J2 store installed on this uh, test site here and then um, then we will proceed from there. Of course, to do that I need the right glasses so that I can see. Uh, you'll see I have one urgent privacy request to manage on the site. That's from playing around in other tutorials so uh, it's not that urgent because it's just me. Let's go to extensions, manage and install. And then we will go to uh, this is install from web. We will search for J2 store, J2 store. And there we have it. So we'll click and we will install. And this is going to install the free version of J2 store. And we'll put that in there. All right, now on the other screen here, let me get this uh, zoom thing happening. Oh my goodness, I have a lot of windows open to get down to that. Here we go. I'll move this to a different screen here. I'll start a meeting without video. And I will uh, join the computer. Uh, copy the URL. And uh, I will just paste that down here so we can get to that later on. And then find the window that has, um, that has the chat. Oh, let's click install it there. Confirm that installation and head back to right here. All right, so if you want to join in by voice, come on on Zoom. There's the link in chat. Oh, look at that. J2 store is already being used uh, by the menu item, a little issue. Maybe it's in the trash. I may have put it on here before, who knows? But it says it's complete, so let's check. Components, J2 store. There we go. All right, congratulations. You're just a few steps away from building your online shop with J2 Store. So let's go through the wizard and just see how this sets up. I'm most excited to show you and for us to see and even talk about the, uh, the unique approach that J2 Store takes to products for the shopping cart because it actually uses Joomla articles themselves instead of having a whole separate page for them, which I find is work, works really, really well. So let's do the wizard. All right. Um, enter prices entered with tax. Will you enter prices exclusive of tax or with inclusive? Well, we'll be exclusive of tax. The default tax rate, why don't we go with what's the default tax rate here? I'll just leave that blank for now. Uh, store name, test store. Do, 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 do. All right. Zip code, and it's required, B9C, and we'll just make one up here, uh, uh, W3W. Select the country, Canada. But even though I am in Canada, I want the default currency to be US States dollars. The symbol is a dollar sign, but we'll just type that in anyways right there. Auto update currency. Um, I believe that that is, um, I'm not sure what that does. I think it might be a converting currency. Weight class kilograms. Yeah, we'll leave that blank centimeters. Sure. Uh, even though using US dollars there. Mandatory. You've read and understood and accept the license of the software. Sure. Why not? We all read that. And uh, you understand that support for the free version of software is only provided through the Fort Community Forum. Yes. By other users. Okay. Now I'll just check something over there. Since 3.2.2 coupon value types are extended, now you have four types instead of two. Please review your coupons and check the additional options given. All fixed value type coupons are disabled due to this improvement. Fix, uh, please review each coupon having fixed value type. Okay, so we're going to check something out about coupons later on. All right, so next, uh, here's everything. This is your J2Store core 
um, ex, um, control panel and you're going to find a lot of your options down on the on the, on the left hand side here catalog products inventory options vendors manufacturers etc sales this is where your orders are your customs coupons vouchers and promotions and so on you can read all of those uh, next what we're going to do next my voice cracking we're going to go to articles and we're going to add a new article and we'll get right to the thing that I really want to show you. And that is, now we have a tab at the top of the article that's called J2 Store Cart. So why don't I give this article a, pro, a, a title, Product 1, and we'll go, this is a product. Okay. And then we will then switch, uh, let's just save this. And now when we go to J2 store cart, we see we have the option to treat this article as a product. If it's no, it's just no, it's just acts like an ordinary article. If it's yes, we click yes. And then we, we pick the product type. Hello, Mary. Good to see you. We click the product type, simple, variable, configurable, or downloadable. Now downloadable would be a digital product such as, um, uh, you know, an MP3 or a file, or perhaps a, uh, an extension or program, something like that. Configurable, uh, I think uh, variable, I believe has uh, something to do with if you have different colored different colors for shirts or something like that or simple anyways we'll just keep it simple for now save and continue all right so we go right back to the article view uh, in the article but now the j2 store cart gives us all kinds of options underneath here now you you can change the product type you can do whatever now uh, one of the interesting things here is check out this short code take you can use this short code to display the product with cart inside the content. No, this will work only when you set the add to cart placement to within article using tagger both. Okay, that's something to uh, check out after. Look down here we have, is this visible in the storefront as a product? And we're in the general tab here. No or yes. Yes. The You can add a, a SKU for it. So it went with a, it guessed off the article name, but you could change this to whatever you want. You could, uh, if this product, you could be PRD, dash one a upc an ean a jan and isbn so isbn i know are for books and upc for products these other ones i don't know what they're for a brand or manufacturer now i did not set up a brand or manufacturer in here uh, this is interesting because you can uh, uh, i have a site where i am selling some things and then i have a local artist who's a friend of ours that uh, i really enjoy and she has some cards to sell so i'm actually going to put her on my store to help her out and so what I would do is I would create a brand uh, Rebecca's uh, Rebecca's art cards or something whatever it's going to be called and then create it and then that separates her products off in their own little store so someone could go onto my website but I could give uh, on my website and see all the products or she can give a URL to her particular uh, to her particular brand so that's that's pretty good tax profile now it's right now it says not taxable because I haven't created any tax profiles and that's something we could look at and talk about uh, along the way. A main tag, still don't have any tags set up in this. A cart button text. Well, let's say, uh, let's say uh, buy this. <laughs> and a product CSS class. So um, I, I suppose you can add a CSS class to a product, which kind of is redundant to say it that way. But uh, next we get into pricing and we can set a regular price yeah, that's uh, great, Mary. Yeah, I really like that about the different manufacturers. And uh, one thing I haven't said yet is that uh, I I was I was I used a very major and very involved shopping cart system with Joomla for years. I loved it for its details, everything that was there. Um, but I um, I didn't I, I barely used any of them anyways. But I really like the the graphic layout for J2 Store for navigating. And that I mean I know other shopping carts have that. 
um, easier to navigate but I really like how handy things are and that whole thing about having different manufacturers and just have it there to set it up and have it looking like this is uh, just nice um, also uh, it opens up the possibility that maybe you could take you could work out a deal since you I I don't know if you have different payment methods for a different manufacturer because it's all your store so there's going to be some maintenance fee or processing fee or something that you're going to have to uh, work into when you're doing payments for for the cart uh, for another manufacturer though I, I i haven't done that and with our friend who's a local artist she's donating proceeds from some of her sales to um, um uh, refugees and, uh, and persecuted christians that my wife and i work with so i'm not looking to take stuff for myself anyways uh, anyways, regular price. Let's sell this for 100 Let's sell it for $10. And then set advanced pricing. So we can click that. And here you have all kinds of options. So for instance, a date range. Let's say that you're going to have a... I guess you would have a... Let's have a sale here. And it starts tomorrow, the 14th of November. And we're going to run it till the 19th. Uh, so anybody who buys... Uh, four of these or more gets to pay uh, that instead of ten dollars we're gonna give it to them for nine dollars all right now uh, in this case you in this case we are giving a we are giving a special price to everybody who goes to the site because it's public you could we could always create a, a coupon that takes a dollar off and give that to some people as a promotion or uh, with the customer group let's say that we had customers and we had created a group uh, they were members uh, but we could just we'll just select the uh, registered so someone who has joined the site and maybe for signing up we tell them that they get an extra 10 percent off off of their orders or or this week's special uh price for members is nine dollars log in and then you'll get it on the cart uh anyway so what we do here is we create and then that added a, um, a price here uh, the the uh, current prices uh, well current prices that, that added a pricing option so then up here now it says error in saving price I don't know what's up with that uh, up here we could do another date range or we could just do a special price for uh, people on the public let's say we want it, the people who are just viewing publicly to be able to pay only 950 and they get an extra 50 cents if they log in so we create that and so on and so on error and saving price let's go save all prices here and that took care of that error at the top not sure what's happening there and now we have advanced pricing in place uh, pricing calculator let's check that out standard okay maybe there's something else to collect here uh, inventory this is great now that's a pro version uh, but you could set, let's say, uh, the thing that we're selling for $10 each, product number one, we only have five of them, and so we would put in that. And I, I have a license for the full version. Maybe I'll bomb that in after we take our look through here. Images. So uh, in the store, you're going to have a, 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 a thumbnail image, a main image, and you can put additional images. And it's just... Uh, just like images in Joomla, let's pick one. Here's a Christmas, oh, I think we looked at this before. This is a Christmas beach. It looks like a turd, but it's actually a snowman made out of sand. Anyways, let's make that the thumbnail image. And the main image, let's use this guy which is doing the down for maintenance graphic. And do we want to put additional images in there? Sure, let's see where they show up. There's another Christmas image and, oh, we will uh let's see insert that and let's see if we add another one insert that i don't know if we're adding two images there or not we'll have to check and see um anyways next shipping are we going to enable shipping uh if this is um now this is something i've not looked much into but if you enable shipping then we can uh, you could say yes and put in your length width and height the class and um, weight class 
So if you shipping is such a big deal for selling stuff and it's so costly, uh, you need to come up with a solution for that. So maybe you have uh, you put in the size and you set this up somewhere else. That's beyond anything that I've done because I'm just mostly selling stuff that uh, uh, selling stuff very light that can be shipped in an envelope options let's check out what's in there uh we have options it says type the first few letters of unique name of the product options in the search box all right let's see search an option let's see if there's a size oh, oh add an option okay is it required no ordering okay uh option name I guess this is something we have to set up somewhere else because there's nothing showing there. All right, so I think we probably have to create options somewhere. So let's bail on that. Uh, filters. Uh, this feature is available only in product layouts of J2 Store. If you have, if you use any other layout like category blog, this feature will not show up or apply due to limitations. So search and add product filters. Uh, can I add that there? That would be something to experiment with. Relations, okay. Oh, you said option, uh, Mary says options are very annoying. Uh, they best be working on a better way to do it. Okay. Uh, product name, so you can search and add for products that you have here so that um, when, uh, if you have the uh, related items module available, you could have product two and product four and people say, oh, I like that too. Uh, so that's a, a great option there. And then apps, third-party apps and tools, those are things that can be added and we can look at that. Let's uh, save this product as we've done it. There is the product. Um, now the really nice thing too here is that, uh, uh, what again, what I really like is that if I want to doll up this product or or fancy it up and uh, I don't have to go into J2 store somewhere else and then create its own do all that product stuff I can do it right in the article so anything I do about the article which is on the content of the site as uh, like any uh, on the front end of the site like any other article um, is there and is working towards the product so I think that I have I do not have Let's see here, I'm gonna to go to here, open in new tab because I want to get to components and regular labs extension manager. Because for uh, regular labs uh, has a um, dummy content tool here. If I install that dummy content, I can go into uh, the article here, I'll just save it. And now down at the bottom I have the dummy content button which is great because I can now instead of typing blah 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 I can just go into here and pick um, uh, kitchen sink and I can insert the content and it's just going to make random lorem ipsum stuff in there and that'll be nicer for us to look at a product in fact that's also just put a picture in there just to help our eyes as we are doing things <laughs> let's put the christmas beach in there such a hilarious picture uh, and we'll set it for uh, 300 um by 198 we'll let's center it right we'll put border on the left there and we will go in insert all right so let's save this and let's check out how this looks on the front end as a product. Uh, I do not have uh, one other regular labs thing I need to put in there. Better preview, install that. I need to uh, holler out to my wife for a second. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Mike did not come back on. All right, so uh, I forget exactly where I was. I installed Better Preview, and now we're viewing the page here. Um, I should watch for that uh, 
uh, this. So what I had said was, for those of you that did, can read lips, I, I called out to my wife, hey, Susan, can you bring me a hanky, please? And there's my granddaughter. Hello, Naomi. Can we bring her over? Sure, bring her over. We'll m yeah, give her a... Grandpa's friends. That's, yeah. She says, come over and say hi to Grandpa's friends. This is my granddaughter, Naomi. <laughs> can you look up there and say hi? There she is. Hi, guys. She does not know what's going on here. All right. There we go. A guest appearance by the granddaughter. All right. So back to the uh, screen. All right. So we can scroll down to the article. And at the end, we can uh, see that our $10 price is now marked down to $9.50 because of the special deal that we created. And we can... Uh, change how many things that we are buying down there uh, with this little arrow box. Of course, all this stuff we can change with CSS and um, all sorts of things. Now, uh, let's just buy two of those. We have this option. We can buy this. And now we end up being taken right to the cart. And we can proceed to checkout or we can continue shopping. I really like the look of this cart and I just really like that I mean, I just slam. We've just slammed this on this site, and already we've got uh, this stuff looking. Um, there's, you know, estimate shipping and tax, Canada, select region, Alberta. I mean, we don't have this set up, but you can update. And there's lots of things that are missing there. We can proceed to checkout, or let's continue shopping, which takes us back to the last page that we were at. Now I do want to ch test something. If we go back to the J2 store cart here, this short code, I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to put it right here at the top because I think by doing that, if I remember right, it puts the purchase option. Did that save? No, it did not. I'm trying to remember where that short code or what that short code does. Um, you can use this short code to display the product with cart inside the content. Only work when you add oh when you add cart placement to within article using tag or both. Yeah, I wonder if maybe uh, it's because uh, let me dump the cache here and see if that's why that did not show up. I don't think so though. I think there's something I must have to turn on there. Okay, well, uh, so where we're at right now is that with the um, uh, with the art uh, with the product being in an article, it's behaving very much like we want it to on the site, and people can then go and they can purchase. Now, if you want to see more than one product. Why don't we do this? Let's go product two and let's save as a copy, which is great because here we have this, you know, this these are all the common tools that we're using uh, all the time in Joomla in the core. And let's do product three. Of course, these are all gonna have the same pictures. Take that out there, save as copy and close. And we'll publish those. And there's an incoming call on my phone. So let's just uh, snooze that. I don't know who that number is. I think it's asking me if I want a health plan or something like that. They bother me regularly. Um, all right, so let's go to menus, main menu add a new menu and let's call this store for lack of a better term and here we're going to create the menu item type j2 store and that's a products list view create a list view of products create a tag view of products um let's try this view this layout works with Joomla articles that are treated as products of J2 Store. You can choose article categories and show products under them. So we have categories that we can show. Let's just show the products that are uncategorized. And of course you can add other products. 
Uh, da, 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 common options, the whole things that we can sort through here and look. Uh, let's save that. Go to our home page with all my other junky menu items that I have up there from other tests. And here we have store. Oh, look, I got dog store. I wonder if I did create this before. Anyway, store. And there are our three products laid out nicely. And we actually even have this filter thing here, which you can find and turn off. Uh, but you've got uh, yeah, product one, product two, product three, all of them with the same pictures. This one is 5% off, so it bumps that down a little bit. And of course, if we were to log in, just for fun, uh, we can now see this product's going to give us, oh, uh, may we store your information. Okay, this must be a privacy thing. Yes, I agree. Okay, I like that. I have never even seen that before. So that is cool. I agree. This is a short, oh, that's because it turned privacy on on this. Excellent. An error has occurred, an error has occurred. Uh-oh. Let's try resubmitting that. Nope. Timmy broke the internet. All right, so we are logged in, and this is just a test site, so uh, probably, yes, that is the, this is the site that I put the 3.9 privacy tools on, Mary. So uh, obviously something is not working. Oh, and you know what? Uh, Vinny, I was talking to him yesterday after the uh, Maintenance Monday live stream. And he said that there's some issue with the uh, privacy thing and creating new accounts. I wonder if it's this. This would be something to look into. Um, but let's, for now, pretend that that worked. We'll just go to store since we're logged in. And, uh, oh, it really, really wants me to agree. Huh. I wonder, I wonder if I'm missing something that is required. It's just cannot go to free Joomla, your profile task profile.safe. Oh, you know what? I, this will be very interesting if this is what this is. All right, I mean, no, I'm clicking back and forth. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. All right, uh, okay. I have admin tools on here. And um, uh, in admin tools, let's go to the web application firewall, configure, and hardening options. I have it so that I've disabled editing for back end users' properties. And because that's a super admin, I wonder if that's the problem. And now also d disable creating editing back end users from the front end. So I'm going to. Uh, have that on as disabled. So I'm going to close that, go back here, and now let's submit. And it, and it saved it. Okay, good. So now, all right, so Mary, that was not, the problem was not the 3.9 thing. It was um, uh, admin tools was blocking editing a backend user from the front end. All right. So now I think we can click on store. There we go. Um, oh, I'm never, I think I never created that option for the extra 5% off, did I? This is the great thing. Now, uh, to check that product, all I have to do is go back to the product itself. Let's close that menu item and go to content articles. And there's product one. So I didn't have to think, okay, now I have to go into J2 store and find a product. I just have to go back to the article manager. We go to J2 store cart, we go to pricing. We look at the advanced set pricing. Oh, and I did not for, so registered users. Oh, I did registered users who order four or above get it for $9. Okay, that's what happened. So if I go to, um, I'm a registered user. I think I'm a registered user. It might actually just be a super user. 
Welcome to the complex world of e-commerce on any website. Uh, super user, da, 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 da. another user, me too, super user. Oh, public admin. Let's see, let's go into there. Oh, it's not going to let me change this in the back end here either. <laughs> because of uh, that uh, admin tools. I'll tell you, sometimes you can make a site so secure, you can't even use it yourself. <laughs> um, all right, the solution to the, well, let's just see. Let's just see. Let's make this one, two, three, four. Buy this nine fifty. Should the price should be nine dollars each? Look at that. I'm up to seven for my other try. I will update the cart. Seven times nine fifty is forty five, or five times nine fifty is forty seven fifty. So we didn't get that. All right. So let's close this. Let's go back to components, admin tools, and we'll go to web application firewall, configure, hardening options, and we will enable editing backend users properties. Now we can go back here to user, manage, and then go to this super user here who's public admin and I will assign him to the group registered. I also, I guess, could have changed that discount for multiple groups. Um, at least I think we could. Now we go back to the product, product one. Let's just see if, how we would assign that to multiple groups. We we'll go to J2 store, we'll get set prices, uh, customer group, oh, look at that. It looks like you can only select one customer group. Interesting. All right. Uh, the price is nine dollars there, so save all those prices now. Now that I'm logged in under that profile, I should go back here and refresh this page, and the price should change down at the bottom from ten to nine fifty. Oh, I still have that pesky more than four price. Let's buy that, and let's take the. Oh, there we go. No, it's still nine fifty. Something to fiddle around with, and you know this is. A, I mean, this is a point that I learned the hard way a long time ago. I was doing an e-commerce site for a club, and they def they wanted payment to be through Moneris, and we're talking like 10, 12 years ago, and there was a way for Moneris to be used to pay through Virtumart, which I was using at the time. But uh, man, I'll tell you, by the time I got that crazy thing working I think I was working for like two dollars an hour um, I I at the, it was reached the point where if I had, had money I should have just hired someone to do it <laughs> but it would have been it would have been the cheaper for me so I learned then I realized that if I'm working for a client who is trying to make money on their website then I need to make money doing that otherwise what i'm doing is, is i'm volunteering my time to help someone else make money which there may be points where you do that i'm not saying don't do volunteer stuff and don't help people even if they're starting up a business you might say oh well here i can help you out with that but um I, but i seem to at that time find people who wanted to make money but didn't understand the cost of making money and um uh, and, and the cost of building a business and without them having their money invested in building their business, it was very easy for them to just move on to something else. The next thing they thought would make money. And then all my time and goodwill had been eaten up. You're right, Mary. All the Look at all the knowledge I gained uh, on the job training. Yes. Yes. On the job training. Uh, chained to the bench with an oar in my hand being whipped from the back. There's on the job training sometimes well, when we're learning these things. But. Anyway, so uh, we can keep working on this point here, uh, but uh, somewhere, uh, you know, let's see, if I log out and then log in again, oh, that's not, oh, and of course, that's the problem right there. 
uh, I need to log in as public admin. All right. And then let's go to, uh, I don't even know if the cart will show up anymore if it, or if it emptied. Um, 5% off. Nope. Now I have 15. Well, now I have 20 there. Let's put it back down to 10. So the math is good. $95. Anyways, this is the point where you st we really start to earn our money looking at things. All right, so that's, uh, that's pretty much all that there is to see in the product view. Let's go back to J2 Store. I like the J2 Store adds a menu at the top here to go right to the dashboard. And as we saw before, even if you're in an article, you can go up and you can go right click to it and leave the article open to go back to. Uh, let's go to, um, let's check out catalog here. Do, 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 do. Is it thinking? Oh, catalog. Oh, I guess I need to uh, pick something. Let's look at products. There we go. So you do have a product view like other shopping carts. Uh, and here, so if you do want to just take a look at your store all at once, instead of having to guesstimate or guess what's happening on in the in the Joomla article manager you can go here and look at the products and you can see what's enabled and the different options that you have uh, you have your filters for your product types um, advanced filters for looking through things price range uh, dates all all sorts of things the vendor oh actually there's a uh, okay a brand a brand would be the make of it the vendor would be who's selling it. So it's multiple vendors that uh, is really nice that I, I want to make my friend a vendor on my other site. And uh, that's good. So we'll have to create that. Uh, inventory. If you're selling things that there's bits of, this will show you how many of them you have. That's a pro feature. If we go to options. Oh, okay, here's where options were. So remember, let's create a unique name for this option size and display presentation um, display slash presentation I don't know what to put in there uh, but we'll make it a drop down and it's published and we'll save it option option name required unique name op, option name required let's see uh, oh display or presentation okay that must be like a label I'm pretty sure that I think J2, I'm not sure where J2 store is, but I think so. There's an English translation thing there uh, or English, English, English use. See, even I can't speak it. Um, so that we're going to say size. Um, now let's save it. Okay. Now uh, down here we add option value. So option value, let's say size one, you can even add, uh, save the option to add an image. Okay, so ordering, this would be first, let's save that. Yeah, thanks Mary, I see I put it in size. Mary, I can hardly wait until you have faster internet so you can speak and, and I don't miss what you're typing there sometimes. So we can select an image for this size. And so, I don't know, maybe you have a small, graphic or uh, size or a number one but anyways we can add other options too so this would be size two and of course it would be ordered as number two and so on so we've created the sizes and uh, three okay so now let's save and close that and now we have that one option that shows up let's do a new option and this will be color let's use Let's, let's display Canadian colors. So we'll throw you in there. Color, drop down, yes, add, add, add. We'll put four in there. The value will be red. Oh no, orange should be first. That's the best color in the world. And then red, and then blue. And some people say it's not a color, but I'll say it's black. And then um, ordering, let's just save that. 
Excellent. So now we can go into the product that we had in the back end. Let's close this profile and uh, content and articles. Let's go right to product one. Now, again, we could have used the product view in J2 store and gone to that list. We'll click on the J2 store cart. Here's all the options for this product. And um, uh, here are all the uh, choices. Now we're going to add some options and that is under uh, options. Huh. All right, search and add an option. So now we can add size and we add it. Is it required? What order and uh, size? Size, size, no. Oh, is that looks like is it required? Okay. And then that's also go to color and add an option. And then we will say, uh, let's say, let's make these required. Why not, eh? I don't know how that is going to be required. All right, size is yes. And that, let's save that. And let's view product one. When we get to the bottom, there we go. Nine dollars and fifty cents markdown. The size. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. There's nothing there to select. Let's check that out. I wonder if it's this particular thing that I said no to being. No, I don't think it's that. Ah, what did we do here? These are the, I wonder, uh, these are the option values. Ordering, size, save and close. Uh, those are enabled. No, I have to add the options in the product since some products might not have all the sizes. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so I'm going here to set option values. Now, okay, so and I went add all option values. So this was for size. Okay, cool. Um, I could have also created an an option which made another one down there. All right, thanks, Mary. That, that okay? That's that's good to know. Uh, having never, uh, I'm a man of very few options <laughs> in my e-commerce, anyways. Uh, so we'll save those changes, and then uh, also uh, we'll close that, and then for the color, we're going to set the option values. So up here, we could create an option of orange. Oh, and that's giving me all the same. So if I create an option and the name was there, let's try that. Now, am I only going to have the option orange there? Let's see. We'll refresh size let's pick size one and the color oh and i only have orange all right so i go back to the article let's just trash that one option there no i don't want to create i clicked it wrong we'll add all those options again okay excellent well even though this is a bit confusing now it's not confusing it's just a learning curve uh, this is, you know, it's navigating so nicely. And once you once you learn the concept of it and how this particular extension does it, then you're cooking with gas. Now, when we go to the product, we can select size two, and we can select orange. All right. So that's a look at options. So you create the options that are available all over and then you add the options. Also, okay, you're creating a, a, a library of options as it were, and now, and then you take from that library and apply it to your different products. All right, let's click on vendors. That's a pro feature. Manufacturers, probably a pro feature as well. Nope, we can make a new manufacturer, same thing, company, 
tax number, understand the tax laws in your own uh, jurisdiction so you don't end up going to the big house. Uh, country, great. And an article ID, to, uh, an article ID for, uh, for display manufacturer details, another slight translation thing. Uh, so you can go and pick an article. Again, really nice that that is linked to using an article. There are some extensions where you would put in your, your manufacturer um, description or details. And then later on, if you need to edit that, it's like, oh, where on earth was that? That was such a long time ago. You got to go find it. Now, of course, you would just go to manufacturers in this case. But instead, you just go to the, go to the article. But also by having the article, having it linked to an article, you have the full range of everything that you would want to do in an article. Images, plugins, tags, blah, 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 all there that you would not have from just a little window or a little text area to put in a manufacturer detail. So we won't create a manufacturer there. Filters and specifications. Check this out here. Filter name. Test filter. Da, 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 da. Ordering. Where's it going to be? One. And let's add filter values. Ordering. I do not know exactly how this would work. New product filter value. Hey, Chuck. Good to see you, man. Thanks for tuning in. We are right in the middle of taking a look at J2 Store and um, we've been uh, created a product and we are also um, now fiddling around with some of the other settings for the for the shopping cart all right filter value what would I put for a filter value I do not know this I would need to experiment with um, uh, let's see product filter groups I'm looking to see what mouse is over what tells me here if I go add Add a new product filter. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's... Would it be size? Let's spell size with two Zs. Just in case. Uh, this would be size and... Uh, capital C-O-L-O-U-R. Let's save that. And let's go to the store. Where is the front end of our store here? Death by many tabs here. Store. All right, sort product by. No, do we have filters anywhere? No. If we go into the product, there's nothing filtering there. Now notice in the product, oh, I think no, in the product, your stuff ends up at the top. This is actually viewing it in the store. Um, how did I get there? Uh, oh, we were in the store. I clicked on the product. So this is sort of the, the store display of the article that we've created. Now, remember, this is our, our main image. And we added two images to... Uh, mouse over and be looking oh that image is there okay they're not the right size when you mouse over them then you can see the images that's pretty cool um and then but this all appears at the top and then here's your article whereas when we view it as an article in joomla they're re they're reading it and then they get to the price at the bottom okay so uh, filters i wonder where filters shows up um, is that a back end thing, perhaps? Save and close. If we go to products and show advanced filters, product ID, regular price, da, 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 visible storefront, no, did not show up there. Interesting. Probably require. Oh, <laughs> I was just gonna say. I just about to say. Probably requires going and doing some searching to figure out. And then I looked over and Mary, there is your link. All right, let's let's go and check out product filters since we're all. 
These are used to narrow out the search for a particular product. In this page, fir first filter groups are created, and in each group, some filter names will be added and based on the filter name. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, there, that's, there's how to do it. Adding filters to the product. Go to Article Manager. Oh, you add them to the product. Okay. It will display the search results in the drop down. Choose the filters from drop down, save the product. Okay. All right, let's put that tab right over on the right hand side. So we go into our product. That's all right. So that's our options. We'll close out of that. And no, oh, okay, filters. And now that we've created filters, uh, maybe I need to uh, probably need to save this. No, did I save filters on the other page here? So let's close that. Let's get rid of some of these tabs up here. We don't need that one. That one we can always open up again. Articles, street to store, filters. Oh, yeah, there's test filter. And it's there, size, da, 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 da. okay. Read this up. It will display search results in the drop down. Adding filters product. Navigate the filters tab. Type the first few letters of the unique name of the product filters. All right. So let's go to the products. Let's do it through the article here. Products S I. There we go. S I. All right. So you need to know. That's interesting. So I was kind of thinking if I typed in there, it would pop them up. But uh, there is test filter and size. Okay. And the other one was C-O-L. Okay. So this feature, let's read it. This feature is available only in product layouts of J2 Store. If you use any other layout like category blog. So this only shows up in product layouts of J2 Store. All right. So let's save this. We'll go back to the store here in the front page. Product layouts of store. So let's click on that. So somewhere there should be a filter. If I'm understanding that right. Product. Do I need to create is this the proper view? Let's check out. No. Oh. I see where it showed up. It showed up over here now. Okay. It showed up under filter by price. And I didn't see that before. I either didn't notice it or it just showed up on a refresh. So I can filter for products that have, well, I used size or color, but that was wrong. What I should have, um, so the filter might be Christmas products or uh, beach pictures um, or pictures, or I guess, um, I think, this is something, okay, so this is a bit of a head scratcher, uh, just to get around. Uh, in this page, filter groups. So, uh, for instance, a filter group called clothing and filters names, men's, women, kids. So this is almost like a parallel category system or a tag system. Um, instead of, uh, okay, so I see what they're getting at here. So, um, and then they show this screenshot here. The filter name is men's value for filter clothings. I mean, oh, so you create the group clothing and then the filter name men's women's kids, which means back here where we created this filter, which was test filter. Um, we could have called this pictures 
and then give it an option of Christmas and beach. Let's see. Save and close that. Go into the article and we'll refresh the this here. And now we have this, we can remove that. So we can say, okay, if people are filtering in the search on the front end, if they're looking, well, then this would be a Christmas picture. And this is also a beach picture. But perhaps we'd have other pictures like car pictures, and that would not be filtered. So when we save that, we go to the store. Let's refresh. And we've only added that filter to one picture. So we could click Christmas. Oh, and it did it on the fly. Nice. So there's only the Christmas pictures. If I, we clear that, it goes back to all the products. Okay, well, that's a very nice feature. Uh, a little bit, probably a little bit clunky because you have to remember what the filters are for them to autofill instead of having tags or, or them coming up as created. But like I've said before, I'm not a programmer, so maybe the challenges of doing that are, um, are greater or this is the way to do it. Who knows? But that is pretty cool. What happens if we create a new group, pictures, uh, let's call this group, um, if it's not pictures, <laughs> let's call it not pictures, why not? Ordering, we can make it number two, and let's add two values, not pictures of, uh, let's see, um, cars and not pictures of trees. That's, a, that's a, a Rorschach test right there, probably me coming up with those. I notice things are a little bit uh, jerky too on the live stream here. Let me just check this out. Let me just stop a few things here. Maybe that's, well, that's going to be the live view as I look at that. Um... Is the video talk? Let's see. Did we lose you there? Some technical difficulties happening here right now. Uh, video seems to be acting up. Looking into it. Ah, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, it looks, uh, we got some jumping there. What is going on, perhaps? Uh, 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 how to fix this? Okay, well. I'm going to pause the video preview. Of course, we'll edit this out on the replay. Yeah, yeah, Chuck, I see it's buffering today. And I'm not sure what's up with that. So, let's see. I'm going to just check my internet here. Check the speed that I get here. Okay, well, that looks like it might be back. Um, yeah, it's, the speed is there. I'm just checking my download, checking upload. See what we've got happening here. I'll just check the upload because that's going to be the big thing. 
Yeah, no, it's okay. It looks like things are perhaps back. No, Mary, it wasn't your internet this time. I don't even know if it was my internet. I wonder if it was something else. Anyway, it seems to be back. Okay. And there is a huge, a huge delay here of about like 30 seconds or something. Okay, so. All right. Well, we're back. I'll stop watching what happened 30 seconds ago and then we can keep going. So we're, we're just looking at filters and I don't know what you guys missed there, but we're showing in the store here. Filter shows up underneath uh, the filters you create and then assigned to products shows up underneath the, uh, the filter thing in the store. So in the article to add a filter to it, you type and you have to remember what your filters are and you start to type and then it will autofill. So, uh, for instance, one was cars that I just added. Or did I add them? Trees and cars. I added another group, not pictures, and I saved that. So now if I type tree, it searches. There you go, not pictures and trees. So you, you basically, it's almost like a tagging system or a category system within, um, uh, uh, or tagging system within J2 store. And then the, um, but you just have to remember, you, you don't click, uh, you don't, you don't click tabs. You don't click any, um, they don't appear in something that you can click when you search. You have to begin to type an auto search. Uh, it'll search for them and then you select them. So that's, uh, so we've saved that. Let's go back to the store and refresh because now I've created a new group. That's what we want it to see. I'm pretty sure I saved that. Yeah, and that's not showing up right away there. So something is getting cached. Let's go back here and clean that cache. And then let's refresh again. No, so if we select by one and then clear that, these should show up those those filters. Pictures, not pictures. Now I haven't assigned those to anything. I wonder if I need to assign them to product for them to actually show up. Let's check that. Product, this product too. And just to be ridiculous, we will say in the cart under filters, uh, it's pictures, not cars. So let's save that. Well, you know what? That now that's impressive to me because those filters do not show up unless you've assigned a product to them, which is great because that leads for a really good user experience in the sense that. And someone goes here, oh, I want to see the pictures that have not cars. If nothing changes, then um, the person thinks, oh, this is so frustrating. I can't find anything on here. So that is really, really, excuse me, really, really nice. And this plus and minus, you can make them smaller. So that's great too. So if we go to um, product number three, and then we'll assign it to, uh, we'll give it the filter, uh, J2 store cart, go filters. We'll sign the not picture trees that I made. Now, when we go back, back and refresh, we've got pictures, Christmas beach, not pictures, trees and tr cars and trees. So, uh, so, that, okay, that's cool. So that's, uh, you know, like we do with any extension, we kind of get in the mind of the programmer or how uh, uh, the developer, how they, how they see it being used. Uh, so here we have a, a, a filtering system for our stores in here, and you can assign products to interact with the filtering system. So this is sort of like a, their own search method inside. Although, here we looks like that we can also uh, search by name 
let's just see who has a two in their name. No. Nope. Uh, go to a product, let's see, P-R-O-D. Doesn't work because they all have the same name. So have to, we'd have to check in to see what that search field does there. All right, so, uh, excellent. All right, well, that's filters. We'll figure that out together. And they also call them filters slash specifications. That's interesting. So you can check out on their sites. Um, they don't call them specifications here, but um, be interesting to, unless they're thinking that the, um, Spec the group that's the filter of pictures or oh, filter group name no and the filter value interesting all right so let's uh see what else we oh sales we've had no orders we've had no customers has anyone bought anything no i haven't bought anything uh coupons that's a, a pro thing so are vouchers and promotions now you can uh now, here's the thing. Get promotion apps for your store, increase sales and customer engagement. Promotion apps will help you offer bulk discounts, reward your customers with redeemable points, and sell gift certificates, which can be redeemed. So get apps. So let's click on this because uh, within, um, within J2 Store, there are apps, and which is probably good that they call that that because uh, although they call them plugins up here. Uh, but you have a bunch of things that you can do, and there are add, add there add to J2 Store. Here's a GDPR GDPR compliance uh, app. I'll tell you. Let's just scroll down. I'll tell you a couple that I've used. Um, look, they have booking and reservations, partial payments, easy checkout, uh, QuickBooks Online, uh, and these are integrations. I have used subscriptions and memberships. Um, I use that for a site. Oh, in fact, you know what? I, uh, I can, uh, oh, I can show you that site too. If we get to that point. Hey, Vinny, you did not miss much. Let's see. Oh, I just pasted the, well, yes, you've missed lots. Of course you've missed lots because my goodness, look at that. We've been talking for an hour and 17 minutes. <laughs> Uh, let me get the bu, 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 bu. let me get the uh, zoom link here. There you go. Yeah, anyone wants to join in on Zoom there? I should have posted that too when uh, you came on, Chuck. Uh, I think that was just before we had the buffering problems. Um, all right. Let's close our stuff on filters here. Oh, and I think I probably just closed the stuff on apps too, didn't I? Uh, so, uh, subscriptions and memberships. Uh, sell subscriptions and memberships in your Joomla website. Turn your Joomla website into a money-making machine by selling subscriptions and memberships. Now, the nice thing that I liked about and why I bought this uh, particular uh, app was you can accept recurring payments for your product services membership plans easily. So this actually offered the option so that someone could pay for a membership for a month and it would be re renewed every month. Uh, hello, Vinny. Hello, Tim. I have, uh, do I have you on the sound here? Yes. Um, how are you feeling today? Um, I'm alive. <laughs> well, that's that's great because if you weren't alive, I would say you have an incredible internet connection. Um, I do, I do. <laughs> so on the uh, on the membership, this app here, it was really nice because you could uh, you could bill people for three months or six months or a year. They had automatic renewals and payments for memberships, and also uh, manage expiring. And people could have multiple subscriptions, so they could purchase any number of subscriptions in the same order and different transactions. It was really what I wanted for this particular site uh, for managing uh, memberships. Um, and it was really nice too. Now this is, I talked about this a while ago. Closed caption cleaner. It was this site. I'm gonna kill this site off in a while. I'm not even gonna renew this uh, domain. 
because um, it did not happen. Although, look, it's been getting page views. Huh. Um, even even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. Um, you could uh, buy. Uh, here's here it is working. Let's see. Beta tester subscription. Add to cart. Ninety nine in stock. That means one person signed up. Add that membership. Check it out. Uh, check out and then uh, this subscription was for one week I was looking for people to do beta testing and I thought well if they if they uh, test for a week and then I go live it all works great that's super and I and I had the price of zero so they literally would have uh, they literally would have um, an uh, uh, access to the site as a beta tester because they'd have to log in and then the beta test would show up for the group that they were added to. And then after a week, their subscription would just end. And there's a setting where you could renew it for another week automatically, or I think there was an issue, I think pay, it didn't work with PayPal or something where you could do a trial membership and then people paid after the first seven days. There was something that PayPal couldn't do, and I think it was more philosophical than it was actual, actually actually physical um and this was the and we talked about this a long time ago this was the case where uh i had to contact paypal and get added uh, get something turned on for my site that would allow prices to change on a subscription i believe that's what it was so someone subscribes for a trial period of a month uh, you can sign up for five dollars for the first month and after that you'll be signed up every month for ten dollars well, that was a change in the subscription details with PayPal. And in order to do that, I had to prove to them that I wasn't a villain. And there, I think there was a secure, uh, there was a credit background check and, and other things. Now it ended up that I got approved right away because my site was so old and in good standing, or my PayPal account was so old and in good standing that they just went with that. When I, when, when I, when I joined, when I added Stripe as a payment to this site, and this was all through uh, uh, this this app that's added to the J2 store. Uh, that automatically started working with Stripe. They didn't they didn't worry about that. So, um, but anyway, so I used this I used that particular app here on this site, and it was really nice. And it was for what I wanted uh, to do with the subscriptions and memberships. Now, uh, Rick August, who has the um, uh, Chuck, you use ECWID. In fact, most of the time, what is ECWID? Is that a plugin for J2 Store or something else? Uh, so Rick August, my friend from SmartDriveTest.com, he is looking for something where when someone buys a course, they're added to a specific group so that they can be uh, so that they can be managed and and emails be sent to people from a certain group for follow up. And there is a different tool for that. Um, uh, I think it might be grouped products here and it's only $29. It's less than the other one. Um, uh, group your products and allow your customers to add them are all selected. No, that's not it. There is another app. And as you can see, there's plenty of pages of apps here. There's like at least four. If unless the number goes to more at the bottom here, no, there's four pages. Um, but you, uh, basically when someone buys a product, it adds them to a group. So you almost could use that like a membership app in a sense, if someone's just paying for a membership, um, a, a one-time payment, they pay $20. So they have access to a certain category, then that's great. But for renewing it and having an expiry date, you need something more like memberships, um, uh, anyways, I really like that uh, that one. What else have we got here that uh, maybe I have used here? There's just so many things here. Uh, wish lists, so many things to add. Um, and of course, if you're working, if you're designing a site for a client, then you're uh, then you know you just tell them you know just tell them the cost of developing that and get this plugin and and uh, your time for setting it up. PDF invoices, I haven't seen this one before. Send a PDF invoice attached to the order notification email that is sent to the customer. That's nice. Um, so people get not only just the invoice, but they get a PDF attached. 
which is great. And you can customize the layout of the PDF order status based PDF invoices and order history. Okay, so if they go to their order history, they can click download the PDF. So really lots of stuff. Okay, so ECWID is a shopping cart system. Okay. Yeah, and I know Vinny likes Hike a Shop. And uh, uh, one of the things that I like about uh, Hike a Shop and J2 Store is I have a, a couple of sites, a couple of clients that are using uh, Moodle for selling, Moodle for their online courses. And there is an extension called Joomdle, which joins Moodle and Joomla together. And there, it has an interface for selling courses. And the two, the two that it's set up for are J2 Store and Hike a Shop. And so when I saw that and was looking at the options, it seemed to me that if those were the two that were picked, that was sort of a vote in the direction of, of using those. Um, and uh, so, all right. So Vinny says for memberships that he uses Membership Pro by Joom Donation. Okay, so that's another 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 way to go too. Cool. But it's specific, it's specifically for um, membership. So if you're just running a membership site, yeah, um, forty dollars you get. You don't have to buy extra plugins for coupons, or you can do all the things you said with um, with with setting up trials and uh, uh, a whole lot more. In fact, it's what I'm going to be using on um, uh, I Love Old Time Radio when I get the premiere section up. But um, cool. Yeah. All right. So that's, um, I think the other thing that, um, uh, with, when I was just talking about this closed caption cleaner site, I also envisioned having a, an affiliate program and their affiliate program also worked with, some, I think it was J2 store that it worked with. Um, but yes. Yeah. So yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. So J2 Store is not the only way to go with a bunch of things. Uh, as far as the shopping cart, what we're looking at, I, I really like it. But like like you said, there's other things with memberships. Okay, so um, let's just go back there. Amazon content. Oh, there's the uh, content custom fields. That's a free one. They probably have a filter up here. Sort product by price, low to high. I bet you free shows up at the top. Yeah, so you got GDPR, um, CSV import, export, Virtumart migration tool. Well, there's something new. I did not know they had that. Mejo shop, tax exempt. Tax display, Google AdWord tracking, all kinds of. Anyways, there's tons of stuff here. Uh, lot, lots of ways to uh, take uh, a shopping cart and add tons of things on there. ACY mailing. This is nice, uh, and this is something we just uh, looked at for Rick's site and the Smart Drive test. Is if someone buys a product, they get added to a specific mailing list that you create in ACY mailing. So if someone buys the Christmas. Uh, if someone buys the Christmas picture, you can add them to the Christmas mailing list uh, newsletter and also to the pictures newsletter as a way just of upselling specific things, um, just uh, tracking them. But again, as it goes with uh, uh, as it goes with uh, all this open source stuff and with all these different extensions, different combinations, and putting together the things that we like or our favorite extensions or how they work or what they need and what it's there's more than more than one way of doing it uh, mary says she likes eShop for e-commerce but she's working on a super easy to use store for clients and j2 store seems easier for people to understand and she says yes membership pro for me okay so she likes membership pro as well I was really so, and this is, this is uh, just as an encouragement. I think we've talked about this before. I, this, uh, this was going to be the project that allowed me to buy Google. <laughs> I was so sure that this was going to work. And what it did is it takes the time codes from, uh, um, the closed captioning from a YouTube video and it strips out all the time codes so you can use it in content. And I really, really 
the model was to have it so that people were promoting and I was giving really good percentages for the affiliate program. People could sign up underneath. So again, I, I put together the things that would work together and it was working great, except, um, when I, uh, I was one flaw in, there's one flaw in my assumption here, uh, and, uh, or in my plan was that because there was no tool that I knew of that could use it and nobody was talking about a tool that could do what this would do. And in the YouTube forums that I'm in and groups, I thought let's create this. People use it. It will go crazy and take off. And, um, uh, I asked one of my, uh, one, someone who is in one of those groups, if they would, uh, test it and, um, they said, oh, this is a lot like so-and-so's tool. And I was like, oh no, you're kidding me. Um, and lo and behold, um, I had uh, the fact that nobody was talking about a tool that was out there that would do what I wanted to do. I had failed to consider that maybe there was a tool that somebody was really bad at promoting or wasn't promoting and such was the case. So I lost a month of time, about a thousand bucks based on some of the extensions I bought and different things that I was doing. I think maybe I factored in my time or anyways. So that project turned out to be a big womp womp. Um, so there you go. What else can we look at in J2 store? Uh, why don't I go to closed caption cleaner? I think I might still be able to remember how to log in. And even though I've not logged in like in forever. Apparently I don't know how to spell administrator. There we go. Unable to load user. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so this is on my old server too, or I haven't changed the PHP version on this yet. So uh, let's go components, J2 store. I've not been in this site for like over half a year, I bet. And we go to J2 store and we'll wait for that to pop up. And now we can look at things down the side like sales and coupons. So here's a coupon that I created, Tim95. It would give me 95% off. I was using it for making test purchases. And uh, this coupon expired 96 days ago. So if I'm going to make a new coupon in here, I can um, give it a name. Um, Let's call it 50, uh, 50, 50, and the coupon code, we'll call it uh, uh, F I D D. No, oh, I was going to say 50 off, but <laughs> that doesn't sound very nice. Does it? <laughs> um, let's call it the, uh, 30 off, <laughs> 30 off. All right. And we'll rename it 30. All right. Uh, is it published? Yes. What's the value of it? The value we will give 50% off. And do I want to give it a percentage discount or fixed amount or product discount? Or is it just for a product? Is it for a product or the cart? Let's do it for the, uh, let's do it for the product. And the dates, you can make it valid from any date to another. So if you're running it for a week, but anyways, we'll leave it valid for everything. Advanced settings, um, product categories. It's available to any product that's uncategorized and in the membership, CCC membership. Um, you can also add specific products that it applies to, but I'll make it available for anything. Uh, brand or manufacturer, select the ones that are there if you have different ones. And you just basically can drill it down again. It's only people from a certain customer group can use it or users or whatnot. And the usage limits is really nice because you can say this coupon be used for 100 times. So you say everyone, here's a coupon for 50% off for the first 100 people that use it. And uh, how many times a, a user can use it, maybe 
each individual person can use it twice and blah 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 and so and so on lots of great options in here um, and then it ends up there oh and look at this coupon expired 737,400 days before so apparently you do need to put a date in uh, it is valid from today and valid up to let's see if that uh, if that makes them happy oh that's wrong wrong thing no it's still expired so let's go into there and we'll just pick uh, today but we'll make it uh, expire in 2025 something ridiculous all right it's a forever now so that's going to expire in 2500 days the other thing that they have here are vouchers which are almost like gift cards you can uh, click uh, click new and create a gift card and so the code can be um, uh, happy or we'll call it happy birthday probably don't know if we want to put a space in there so we'll say uh, happy birthday and getting ready for another sneeze and this time I'll make sure the microphone turns back on uh, and but here look you can send this to someone you can say thanks for being willing to test my site I'll just send it to myself and the value is going to be and here we have is it a gift card yes huh uh, maybe I have to create other types there but the value that's uh, give uh, an amount of fifty dollars when is it valid from it's fr valid from today I guess we have to avoid that whole other problem with the year so we we'll just make it to till 2025 enable and then use a subject uh, thanks for your help and then down here you would send the voucher in the email body and you would blah 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 blah, blah and you would uh, save and close imagine that's going to get emailed out at that point or was it emailed oh then up here we have click this and send voucher i think it should go smpt uh, smtp fails i've changed something since then um so that's just in the setup of the site and i have not sent it out but that's kind of neat to be able to give someone value uh, to get uh, uh, send a voucher off to someone and I don't know I wonder if I, I'm not even sure maybe someone can buy a voucher and send it to someone um, and then down here we have promotions I've not done anything with that oh get promotion apps for your store increase sales and customer engagement so we go here and see let's search for promotions p-r-o-m-o -O. Do, do, do discount let's read that again promotion apps oh, okay so let's see if there's an app for running a promotion I'm not sure what that would be uh, discount for payment methods that's interesting um, what would a promotion be something anyways all right that's also we saw earlier that for um, now I don't know if we looked at localization this is where you set up your taxes so if we go to uh, here's all the countries that are enabled and I think the way that happens is this is that we can go to zones then and um, these are typically, for instance, um, let's see, let's go back to countries. They have every country in the world here. Let's click all. Just for now, I'm going to turn off all zones. So we'll select those and we'll unpublish them. And then we'll go and look for Canada. All the countries with can in them and we'll publish that 
Now if we go to zones, maybe we sort by table, maybe we have to filter zone name, zone code, so uh, country name. I think there's a let's search for British British Columbia. So yeah, a zone for them is a state or a province or territory um, and then what you do is in your let's see check out geo zones you create a new one oh so it, a geo zone name oh, okay so let's uh, i'm going to call this bc for british columbia and enable that and we add a country in a zone we've got canada right and then we go british columbia and I think that the reason that we're doing that is that when we go down to tax rates, we're going to create a new tax rate and we're going to pick a geo zone, which is BC, which we just named. And the name uh, here, our tax would be GST. And the percentage is uh, 5%. And then we go save and close. Uh, which means next when we go to the products, let's go back to our product here, product one. And down the side, when we go to this tab of J2 store cart, we go down to uh, pricing, no, general tax profile, no, maybe I've missed something here. Filters, let's go to sales, no, is it set up? Where is taxes? Oh, tax rates, all right, let's see. I think I created some, oh, okay. Create a tax rate, new. Um, the tax rate, this is where I put in GST. The tax rate is 5%, the geo zone. I don't have anything showing up there yet. All right, let's cancel geo zones. Did I not save that? Enable, add a country zone. I thought for sure I'd just save that, but country, British Columbia. Now I can add another zone here. So if there's a tax rate, that's the same, a couple of provinces over, for instance, I don't think it is the same, but let's go to Canada and then go to Alberta. So we go save and close. So the geo, geo zone name should be BC Alberta. But now let's go to the product. Let's save tax profile. <laughs> Oh, tax rates now. Now I do new GST tax percent is five. GeoZone BC is the one that I named. It's even okay. So now we do that content articles and product one. And that opens somewhere else. So realize. Go down to uh, not pricing, Is it general tax profile, son of a gun. <laughs> I have to set up on another site. Um, what, what am I doing? Check this out here. Oh, look at that. All those, uh, so those are zones. Enough for that. Let's go British Columbia and search. There's British Columbia and it's enabled. Okay. Geo zones, BC. 
and we've got those two in there so I'll just call that uh, BC Alberta and that's enabled let's just check out what it says up here after you enter a name for a geozone click save you can add countries and zones in this geolocation below the form will appear only after you save geozones will be used for setting up tax for different zones and countries for example you may want 5% tax for customers from Europe and 10% from the US so you should create a geozone for European countries yeah all right so we've created a geozone okay and then so if we're going to go to tax rates we created the GST for BCAB good oh and then it dawned on him tax profile not tax no oh, I thought maybe I had to select that it was taxable all right so let's just tax profiles all right well let's see I don't have a profile tax profile name after entering a tax profile name click save and you can map taxes to this rate all right well let's GST no it doesn't matter what program it is this part is always the most difficult yeah no exactly and there's something earlier that uh, that we reached that point too where i where I just commented yeah and welcome to the complexities of setting up a shopping cart um so okay so here i don't know how it works in british columbia or in canada but like some places here in, even in vermont we have uh well you have you have state tax but you also have local tax so yeah. you have to determine whether or not like in vermont what places are required to have local tax and which places are not yeah in canada we don't have local tax we have federal tax and provincial or territorial because we have three territories uh tax and so we have the the goods and services tax which is federal and that's five percent i think it's five percent actually maybe oh is it federal maybe uh, anyways it's tax 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 um but um it applies only to services then but then there's provincial sales taxes that apply to things so if you go out and you buy lumber you pay tax on that if you pay um if you hire someone to build a house you pay the federal tax on the labor on the services but then you also pay on on the products the provincial tax except for Alberta which has no provincial tax so in Canada you have to sort of figure out uh, where GST is being charged and, and that so but here so in this uh, tax profile the rate the tax percentage is the GST and the and you base it not on the on the on the billing address I guess in this case so if someone if I order something in BC and have it shipped somewhere I have to pay taxes as if I'm in British Columbia um and uh and i don't have to collect I and mean, the nice thing is i um, don't have to collect tax for any other con countries I'm not paying taxes there so it says save this and then we could add others um and so i guess in this case uh the tax profile name could be british columbia and the psd anyways you just you got to sort it out like like you like vinnie said this is all, it's all the same on everything when it gets to this point so now if I save this article now I'll be able to assign the tax profile that I have to charge GST on this if someone shipping address is in British Columbia all right so and then that's uh, that gets added on there all right so what else if we uh length weight order statuses design i don't know if we looked in design email templates i don't know uh and we never made it this far down in the, oh there we go oh part e changing email templates is part of the pro version let's go over to that here um design email templates so here's your emails for both customers and admins you can create new emails and this is what people see 
when they send out uh, template body source simple editor uh, template file advanced you have to be very careful with this okay um, and here is your table and your information for sending out with your short codes for inserting so pretty good system for just uh, editing things and fixing things up but again you have to figure it all out and get uh, get used to it so and learn it same with invoice templates we just looked at apps the app store reporting uh, there's two plugins report itemized and report products I don't want to click on that because I have some user information from people that tested but anyways uh, that's that's probably a, you know we sorted out a few things uh, again what I really like and if you guys have turned in late what I really like is that the art the products are the articles you make your art in the article you put in your information and everything that you want and um that tag we didn't figure that out but um and then you can go to your tab and then you set it up as an article your different types of things and um and so your display in the site basically is like a now this is the shopping cart view but um if we go up to here you also have an article view of your product and you just don't have to you're, you're working with joomla core stuff you're not uh, off in the weeds trying to uh, do things in a in another place that maybe doesn't offer the same options although like we did see you can go to catalog and the products and you can view all of your products together so anyways overall it's it's uh yeah it's easily easily one of the best shopping carts out there for joomla and uh, there's some other really good ones too and uh I, and it may actually be a case of like how we end up in joomla or wordpress uh sometimes the best extension is the one that you understand the best so you can do things with um because then that's going to allow you to uh, be productive and that's why i moved away from that other big one that i'd used for years because it was just so lost in the updating process and i mean it was almost like a cms in and of itself and i just i just I, I just sometimes abandoned hope of ever trying to figure out or find or going i just didn't want to go in and this works so so great for me and there's others too that have have updated interfaces so so there you go there's a there's a collab we all look at j2 store it's a great option um i think that's pretty much it i mean unless there's something else that we can look at in this Vinny, i had someone contact me on um facebook with suggestions for the uh, i love radio site i think i talk about it so much they may have mistakenly thought it was mine so <laughs> either that or they knew that i was in touch with you so i'm going to pass that along to you and all right and uh well which which is cool hey, that's cool that you're working on uh on a pro uh, 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 on a membership thing for your site yeah i mean it's just um i mean it's not like a terribly expensive membership it's just kind of um something a little extra for people and it helps help support the site yeah no and that's uh, you know when i talk about this uh, project of mine that uh, that uh, did not conquer the world um thanks mary yeah, that's uh, cool about filters. I did not know that either. That was fun to sort that out with, with you. Mary says she uh, not used filters yet, so that was nice to see. Yeah, that was great to learn. Yeah, this, this CC cleaner thing, I really gave myself to this, and I learned a bunch of stuff. And so on the plus side, even though it, even though it did not go, I, was I, 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 I encouraged myself and thought, well, hey, I tried and uh but also i learned a lot of stuff working on that site and uh and so i thought okay well at least i'm going to be able to use this information later on and build upon it and and it'll help me to catch up so 
or whether you actually did. Actually, you know, that's the thing about when you take a loss in business or something doesn't work. If you if you constantly hold it over yourself, trying and thinking, well, I'll catch up. You're just robbing yourself of the enjoyment of the next thing because you're punishing yourself instead of just let it go and move on to something else. It is what it is. It's just just business, just trying stuff. And part of the part of the mental game of uh, of succeeding in business. Be kind to yourself. There's there's enough people in the world that won't be kind to you, so be kind to yourself. <laughs> All right. Well, what does, the what's that? Ain't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are, an hour fifty five minutes into the stream. We had a little bit of uh, buffering happening at one point there, but otherwise it seemed to straighten out. Um. I have not yet had breakfast, and I have a friend coming over who's written a book, and I'm going to help him with his website. So it'll be nice to spend time with him. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you're uh, watching on the uh, Encore Performance, it gets uploaded to YouTube. Like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. And um, if you have ideas for uh, Watch Me Work live streams, or you want to be the me in Watch Me Work live stream, let me know. And uh, we'll hook you up with that and uh, continue to proceed forward. And as mentioned yesterday, it's too late to do it now, but eventually I will tell you what Vinny was hinting at that's behind the secret door behind me. So, and then you will, uh, then you'll think, oh, really? Okay. Well, maybe they'll think it's cool. I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it's cool too. I like it. Uh, anyway, so that's it for me everybody it's great hanging out with you great learn some stuff together and um we'll just continue on and i'll see you uh later on let me grab my remote here so i don't look like i'm sneakily looking down and trying to because i notice at the end of the videos it's like oh i'm not paying attention i'm just looking down so there's the button that i'm going to hit